Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and we are on air, and Queen Jolene's on the camera. How am I going to get the hood off? Well, I'm going to show you. The hood is tacked here with round rod. Um, for the people that didn't get to see when I first done it, I've tacked the hood to the cow with round rod all the way along there. We've tacked a piece of square stock from there to there. We've tacked the square stock here in a couple places, not just a couple places up here on the grill shell. And what, what is going on is I've got it tacked there so when I'm making this hood, I want, I want everything to stay in shape. I'm using the car or the truck as a buck. So if you're, if you're into making chassis or if you're into making something that you want to stay right and square, you, you use a buck and you weld it together. If you do not, generally what happens is you get all out of shape and then uh, you're in sort of a mess somewhat because you're trying to go back and repair what, what is not straight and what's right. So as I tack everything on that is the construction of the hood, all I do is I come back with my zip cut. I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to leave the hood on for now. I'm going to go to the fenders today. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to start with the fenders. I'm going to leave the hood side and the hood on. I just come with a zip cut. Zip cut through that very easily. And then I take a flapper wheel and I just buff it off uh, to make it look pre presentable or good back to the way it was. Uh, my dog's excited, I'm going to let her in. So I just take a zip cut and I pull the hood off and I'm hoping uh, with all the welding that I've done on the hood that the hood stays in shape. Um, I use the truck or the truck as a buck and I'm hoping that it stays in shape. It might take off a little bit. Yes, watch it sweetheart, I, I pick you up in a hurry. Um, it might, it might boing out a little bit, but I'm hoping where I've welded it all up. I said I wasn't going to weld the center. I did anyways, just because it was there. I welded all the edges up. Um, I did not grind the edges, but I just held the, the grinder flat with the flapper wheel, flapped it off flat, 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 all the way around, ran the flapper wheel up through the middle, trying to get the peak looking right. Everything looks fantastic. I'm really happy with the shape of it. This is just setting on there, so that's not, it's not bolted on there, just, just put on there. But that's basically what's going on. I'm happy with the, the rake of the hood. I'm happy that, the, I'm happy with it all. Not gonna hit real, um, it's all tight and right. Nothing's warped up, nothing's loose. Nothing I have to really fix. Um, I still have to weld the areas on the side of the hood. I'll, when I pop it off, then that's when I'll do it. Uh, when it comes to the hood, uh, it's going to be a lift-off hood, and we'll make it so it comes off easy. We have, um, I bought some of these for Jolene's car, and uh, it did not, it did not work out for me. They did not work out. Uh, there, make a, we can make a little bracket that goes on the side part and clamps up and pulls down the hood. These kind of just pull like that. It's got a spring in it. So you make a little, maybe a little L here. Bread it up and there's a little clip that will go on the hood. We can hold them down that way. We can hold it on with belts. We can hold it on with, uh, we can put screws in it. We can do anything you want to hold it on. But we have those. Uh, they were going to be for Jolene's car and they did not work because of the angle. Uh, I have a friend named Blaine O'Coin from Cape Breton. From what I understand, his wife has um, passed from a tragic car accident. And uh, I want to throw my prayers and thoughts out to you, Blaine, because um, I think you deserve it. And yeah, like that's really devastating. Like uh, prayers off to you, Blaine. I, I'm not sure what to say at this present moment about that, but we're thinking about you. You're in our thoughts. Um, Alrighty, another thing I got to tell you before we start. We are going to Australia from February 24th to March 5th. Is that right? We're going to be there the February 24th to the 26th, so it's three days. We're going to be in Queensland, Australia. And that's going to be for uh, Flathead Racing at an airfield, is it? Um, so that's going to be fantastic. Jolene probably would like to put her race car in her pocket and go there. I'm sure of it, or I could maybe do that. Um, so it's old school Carol Bin Resort is where we're going. Carol Bin Resort, if I say that right or wrong, uh, you can read it for yourself if I'm wrong. Uh, Merle William by New South Wales. We're going to be there until March 5th. So we're going to be in Australia all this time. 
Uh, if you want to meet us, please come to this and please come to this. Uh, March 5th will be the Hot Rod and Custom Car Show. Uh, February 24th and 26th is races. So if you want to go to the races, we will be there. If you want to go to the Hot Rod and Custom Car Show, we will be there. Um, when we are done in Australia, we'll be flying to Toronto. We are stopping off. Uh, we're going to be there three days, the 10th, 11th, and 12th. We're going to be at the Toronto Motorama. We're going to be chopping a car there with, I think, Brandon and, and their crew. Uh, I hope that the car shows that invite us and have us there, I hope that they're happy. I, I hope they uh, realize when we, when we go there, we film. And when we film, it, um, it goes over quite well because we usually take all our people that watch and all our YouTube, we take them with us and we film every day. When we did the Houston Autorama, we, it was over 4 million views. So to me, it's great value to have me and Jolene at your show. Um, not because um, who we are, but it's because of the exposure that you're getting and who we are. <laughs> I'm just joking. Anyway, it's hard, it's hard for me to say that. You know, I'm just like you. I'm no bigger, no smaller, no taller, no shorter. Um, I see eye to eye with everybody. And um, if you don't see eye to eye with me, that's too bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, what I mean is equal. I don't mean um, whatever. You get what I'm saying. I have to put, I'm going to try to start putting some fenders on and I'm going to start, I'm going to build the fenders out of exhaust pipe. Uh, you're going to watch me do it. I'm going to take, this is the gas can that we had on there. I'm just going to pop that bad boy off right now, right quick. I probably talk too much, but I, you know, I, I want to talk a little bit. I want to talk a little, I had to, had to tell you what's going on and what, what we're doing. Probably too big of a screwdriver, but I'm going to grab it. We had a car show that we went to in uh, northern Ontario, was it? It's Thunder Bay, Thunder Bay, Ontario. Uh, the, the man's name was John that um, acquired our, our time. And uh, John collects Studebakers, if I remember. Come on. I know how to get that off. Right there. His name is John, and he collects Studebakers. Sometimes I get going on something, I, I don't finish my, my conversation, because I'm thinking. Outside, um, in the old junk pile, I have, this is a, there's a carburetor inside there. And this is the, a unit for a Studebaker. See the water running out of it. But it is a unit for the Studebaker that you put on top of the engine for the, with the carburetor inside. And it's for a supercharged Studebaker. So I'm thinking that this would encase your um, carburetor so your supercharger would suck air or, or draw, push air into the carburetor. Sorry, draw, draw air into the carburetor or something like that. I think that would be a valuable piece to somebody that collects something like that. And, and, and it can sit on a shelf if it wants to, but it is what it is. Did you hear that? It is what it is. I, here we go. I wonder if I have to... Come on out! I have to unbolt that to get that out of there. No doubt in my mind. That might have been the wrong thing to do because I want to cut these off. I just didn't want that gas tank there. If you know what I'm trying to tell you. Hey. Stop it. And I'm pulling on that box like a mofo. I don't want to do that either. Now I got gas. That might, that might have been a mistake. All right, that's what I'm going to do. Put it back down on. Hoping I didn't rip the box all out of shape. 
I don't think so. I got two nuts on the inside here. I'm going to denut it. Denut it. That didn't sound so good, did it? Right now, would you? It's been a while since anything, I've done anything to this. It's been a while. And those are, I would say, half inch or nine sixteenths without really knowing. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really liking the hood on it. We'll get some fenders on it. She's on there. What, what, it wasn't supposed to come off. What I'm thinking is I should be able to just pull probably on there quite. And the gas tank might go back on. Or that little tank might go back on. I don't know if we'll run the fuel there though or not. Anyways, I'm gonna see if I can pull that bad boy off. That went down, hit the ground. That's hanging on all right. Good, good. La ti da. And there was one on the bottom. I'm gonna take and move this right over to the other side. Kind of got carried away a little bit on everything, pushing that and pulling that and tugging on that, but that's how it happens sometimes. Yeah, it's not too bad, not too bad at all. Now I'm gonna wrap that sucker up in tape. Um, but what, what's going on is I wanna get the running boards off. Th those were running boards to get in to the truck and now they're gonna become running boards to get in the truck and they're gonna have fenders on them. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna go about it in a minute. I just, just wanna make sure that I don't have any problems with gas is what I'm thinking. I don't want no problems with gas. That wouldn't be good. Still smell gas, but that I think that's um, that would be exciting, wouldn't it? Watch, watch me on fire running out the door. <laughs> wouldn't it, my baby? Huh? I have a friend on the mountain that got himself on fire one time. Dave Burns, I think, with a snowmobile. I think got him caught himself on fire and. Uh, Yes, he did. All righty. I'm gonna just put one more piece of tape on that just because I do not, do not want any problems. If you know what I'm trying to say, I do not want any problems. I'm gonna be throwing sparks around a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna cover the glass up just for hay. Uh, da, 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 da. As you see, the hood and the hood sides, um, they, they, to me, they look very, very dashing. I'm going to show you how that happens before I even cut the running boards off. Uh, I got this little machine. I got it from Eastwood. Yep, right there, Eastwood. It has a stripper wheel on it, just like the stripper wheels I use in the drill but it has a, a wider one. And this, this stripper wheel on this machine, we, I've, I've stripped a lot of paint and, and bare metal and 
Um, it just keeps going on and on and on and on and on. Uh, these are, I think, are $20 per near, $20 when you pay tax on them. And you can wear them out fairly quick. You can, but that machine right there with one of those pads on it, I'm not sure what that pad costs, but it's the only one I bought in with the machine. So it's done a lot of work and it's still working. I'm gonna show you how it works, um, how I did the hood sides and how I did that. I even run it up here on the cow, trying to strip that a little bit. I have to get the rust back off it again. It never had any rust on it before. But. I, I, I generally try to go all the same way. I'm just going that way because it's that way on the thing. I'm gonna go this way on this. I'll show you this. see how nice a job that does also it, re it pre prepares the the metal for primer um, generally you want you just metal sand it before you prime uh, you would never want to just make something and then prime it you want to sand that metal before you prime it that way it adheres it, it, it's all been done on the box side it's just that it's been setting a while and now it has to be gone over again cutting off the running boards cutting off the running boards today we are starting the process of making fenders don't know how far i'm going to get but that's what the, what we're doing today so i want to cut that off before when we put them on there was a little bit of thought process on it um, we wanted it in close and we want to bring it with the shape of the truck so we wanted this exhaust pipe to run with the truck and the truck kind of runs in like this like the hood runs in like that that's how we put the exhaust pipe on now that i'm doing it uh, i'm changing it up i want the exhaust pipe out to the outside outside of the wheel um, that's where i want it so that's coming out quite a ways um, i'm not sure well i am that is coming out quite a ways you can see how far we're in here now and that's just welded to the side of the chassis. We're probably going to do the exact same thing there or, or bolt it on or weld a plate to the end of the exhaust pipe and bolt it on. I'm not sure yet. But this, this exhaust pipe here, I want it out on the outside of the wheel. As we get going, uh, the more you'll understand. That's not the machine I want. That's going to cut nothing off the truck. I'm going to put a zip cut in the exhaust pipe and knock that off i cannot get up in close into the side of the chassis i'm going to have to cut it off and then grind off the excess because i just i don't think i can get up in there i don't think i can get up in there and i'm going to get as close as i can mind you but we'll see what happens hmm. Hmm. Just thinking for a second, that's all. I know that's a hard thing on a person sometimes, but I'm a thinking. I just take the reciprocator saw and just reciprocate it off. That might be. I'll, just, I'll zip it off close like. Let's, let's try the front one first. I got a reciprocator saw waiting in on the sidelines. So we're turning this into an oil truck. 
Um, I said I was going to cut the sides out. Um, I'm going to wait till the running boards are on. Um, that's round rod, a bending round rod, and fitting it in there. I, don't, I didn't think that was going to be that exciting or that um, that much visual going on. But making the fenders will be a good visual. Also, there's going to be a lot of welding to put the fenders on. Uh, I'll have to get Jolene jump in with me probably on that. Or it would be nice for her to jump in on that. And that way there, I knew it. I knew it. Um, maybe we can both weld. Let's let it hang on for a second. Can we get the back. If that falls down, well, I'm going to reciprocate this one off. I think it went pretty well. Yeah, I'm going to have to get that cut off. It's going to take a bit of chiseling or the zip cut and grinding to get it off. I just can't get in there with the box on, right? All right. I want to use this piece. I don't think I want to waste it. I am changing the size of pipe that I'm going to be using. Um, that there, I think, is two and a half, and I have ordered two inch. Um, the reason I think I've, I'm changing the size, I'm not sure, I just didn't like the size of that. That's two and a half. I've ordered two inch. Two inch is right here. This is going to be my. It's awesome. This is going to make my fenders out of this. When I angle this, I was hoping, well, it'll be close. Close enough. Alrighty. Um, I want to get the wheel straight in this bad boy. Hood sides will fall off. They're just laying on there. Kind of straight, but kind of not. the steering wheel off. I'm going to take this. Does not reach. Huh. I want something the full length of that to tie onto that is what I want. Uh, da -da 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 -da. What am I going to use? String of some sort? I got some rope. Anywhere at all? You see any rope? I know I had some rope here somewhere. Remember? Do you see it? What I want to do is I want to tie a piece of rope or put a piece of rope on um, fender to fender. Or to wheel to wheel, sorry. And then I can do a measurement. See anything? I had a new package of it somewhere. It is right there. That'll work, I guess. I could run a piece of tape. That probably worked just as good. Probably a waste of tape, but I can use it. Got a piece of some tape right around the corner here. Uh, no, I do not. <laughs> I'm gonna use tape because the string and probably I will not be able to attach it. Don't get mad at me, Jimbo. I'm going to use some tape. He's doing fantastic on his Ozenbeel. He's doing fantastic. He's doing fantastic. Or I think he is. All I'm going to do is see if I can't get that stick there. 
what I'm wanting what I'm wanting is I'm wanting a measurement from the frame out to this piece. Um, that's what I want. That looks fairly decent. I put that tape measure down somewhere. Keep my glasses on. Got to get a marker. I got a marker in my pocket. Uh, I know where that goes. I think I'm happy where that goes. I'm, I think I am. There's no sense changing it. And the reason I'm not going to change it is because it's already made. That's, that's basically the end of the story. It's already made. I'm going to keep it. I just have to lengthen it out. That's all. Now I have... So I got this, this here. I want this to be on the outside of the wheel. This piece of two inch exhaust pipe. So I'm just going to add two inches to the measurement. Uh, I'm, I'm saying. So we're going to say it's 16. It's 15 and 7 eighths, but we're going to say it's 16. So we're going to say 18. We want, uh, we want the, this piece here, the face of this, um, to the end of this to be 18. That's what I'm thinking. That's, and forgive me, um, it's not, it might change. I'm doing this all on the fly. I'm just cutting it off. I, I knew I wanted to make fenders for it, but my, my, my brain was over there with the hood, but now my brain is here and I'm figuring out as we go. So if I change, don't get mad at me. So we're 13, I'll bring it down some so I can get it. We're 13 and a quarter. Um, we'll just make it 15 and a quarter. That wheel, I'm probably not going to use that wheel. That's probably a little fatter. I want to, I want to put wires on it is what I'd like to do, wire wheels. So that's going to make that wheel a little bit more narrow. So if I just, so instead of saying, saying 15 and a quarter, why don't we just keep it easy? Because I'm saying that's probably a quarter inch or at least half inch wider. So we'll just keep, go easy and we'll do it 15. So it was 13 and a quarter. We're going to do 15. That, because that wheel's a little bit wider, I think we're going to get a skinnier wheel on it. And that's, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So now what I have to do or I want to do is I want to add a piece of exhaust pipe or a piece of pipe, weld it to this and get it. So we're 18. And right now it's 11 and a half. So what I'm going to do is I'll just cut a piece and weld it on and then we can shear it off after. I'm going to side and got a couple pieces here. Um, it's hard to believe that's nice and thick. It's probably eighth. Nice and thick. Um, this, I think this is left over from the dump truck body. That's what that's left over from. Uh, I want to do weld that on there. I'm going to take a flapper wheel that off. Same size. We'll get them fitting fairly decent. Got a flapper wheel here. Straighten them out a little bit. I'm going to have a little bit of gap in this because we're not, we're, you know, we're butt welding that on. So we want a little gap so it really does penetrate nice. And I'm going to scrub off probably the outside coating. I think it's aluminum.
happen here? Tina! Just gonna check. Fina, what are you barking for, bet? What are you barking for, bet? Yeah, Snap is here. Stay, stay, stay. How you doing? Good, Come on in. We're, we're filming right at the present second, but you're more than welcome to come in. Okay. <laughs> okay, he says, right. Huh? No, come, come, come this way. We're gonna interrupt the video. We're going to the other shop. And uh, you wanna take a look at the bike? Yes, sir. He wants to look at the bike. Alrighty, cool. Here's your jacket, Jolene. Uh, you losing weight all the time, right? Riding bicycles, man. Riding bicycles. Staying healthy. Well, this is a motorbike you're looking at. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just joking. Yeah? Yeah, sure. Just tell them don't touch. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Cool. So what we're doing is we're just going to the other side. We made a video here a while back on the motorcycles, and I said if anybody was interested in a motorcycle, contact us. This man owns Valley Yamaha over in Port William, so if you need motorcycle parts, but I think he's interested in the dirt bike. He's gonna take a look at it. We're gonna take you for the ride. How you doing, young guy? Come this way. Yeah, everything's hot. <laughs> you ride motorcycles? Mm, not really. Not really? Cool. You can, if you want to. Let's go this way. Stay with me. Let's beat her right over to the other building there. I should start a go-kart go arena, shouldn't I? Yeah. Instead. Right down there. There's been a, a few people inquiring about it, so it's just kind of something I, I don't want to, I don't really want to pair it with it, yeah. but if, if someone's willing to, yeah. I know what a Z50, you can, like them cost, yeah. Just as much as that. Yeah. Like it's crazy. This has not been started since the guy dropped it off. Yeah. So I know it runs. It's just that I have never started it, never ridden it. Yeah. And there it sets. Yeah. So there's quite an upturn in these old bikes now, right? There is. Yeah, and old guys like me are fixing them up and, and they have a few events a year we can go in with them. Yeah. Uh, it's grown and grown and grown. Well, I'll, I'll put it to you this way. It, the value's not going down. It never does. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it, it's not going down. So uh, the reason I bought it, because I got hurt on one one time, yeah. and um, I know what kind of machine they are. They're... So this is a 77 or 78? 78. 78, I think. It's 400. Yeah. Uh, it's got a tag on here where it was bought from I th I'm thinking Utah okay it's got a wild looking head on it eh yeah like to me I thought that was just cooler 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 than dang it but uh, that's what it is yeah okay yeah. Yeah, I remember that ping in the end. Forty horsepower to like thirty horsepower. Right on. Yeah. So there's a nostalgic thing you can go to race these so, bad boys. So, so it's not so much here. We have one event a year in okay. conjunction with all the other races that we go to. But if you wanted to travel into New England, yeah, 
Like there's a place you can ride and race these almost every weekend. Well, that's what Jolene did with that down there. Yeah. You can fly ahead race down there. Yeah. Lots going on down there compared yeah. to here. Yeah, they don't care. <laughs> you pay your money, you can do whatever you want. Like, yeah. they're, they're more open than we are. They definitely are. Yeah, we, we put, um, we put um, can I say, restraints on ourselves, do we not? <laughs> yeah. That's a whole other show. That's, that's, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've like I, uh, it, I, I can't tell I can't tell you anything about it. To be honest with you, all I know is what I know. He started it up for me. It went bing, 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 bing. I got it in Truro, Truro, five years ago, six years ago. Really, you had it that long? Yeah, have never ridden it. Have never started it. I didn't know. Well, like no one knew actually what we were doing. Like. Right. Um, we kind of just kept to ourselves and That's like all these motorcycles were not here. We, we went and got them. Right. Every one of them. We went on a weekend trip and we went and got them and then bring them here. Yeah. And then we bring them here again because we had them in another building and it was just like, if you need a motorcycle towed, I know how to do it. <laughs> but then again, every time I go somewhere, it's something different, right? Yeah. She looks like she's been raced on the back fender once or twice. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> yeah, I would say, yeah. Right. Yeah. Can you get parts for these? I've never ever searched, but. So I sent you that picture of that Suzuki I have. Okay. Uh, I've got a buddy of mine that's like hardcore into this, and yeah. he's able to find, they call it new old stock. Okay. And he found me a few years ago when we did that Suzuki, he found me a whole set of plastic somewhere. Right on. Number plates, fenders. Wow. Everything. Brand new, still in the back. Well, what can I say? Something like that. Like we we've been watching on the the auctions, and they are like retired at prices, but they are mint. Right. So yeah. That's, you know, that's like I, I like to fix them, but have them original. But I don't want them perfect. Yeah. So I want to ride them. Well, if that you, that's the one right there. Right. <laughs> if you make them perfect. Yeah, you don't want to ride it. Right. Right. I want to ride it half a dozen days a year, and, and uh, have some fun. With so that doesn't scare you, that bike? No. Okay. <laughs> it does me. Yeah, well, we all have <laughs> modern four strokes now. Yeah. The 450s and they're upwards of 60 horsepower, right? Yeah, wow. Yeah. What would that have for horsepower? I would say, I mean, probably in the low 40s to 45. Oh, okay. Right? All the new bikes are fuel injected. When yeah. Start. Oh, yeah. Things are newer, like, they're better, like, they're faster. Yeah. Like. The, the Yamaha one even has a Wi Fi system on it. You can sync it to your phone. You can tune it from your phone. Wow. Like, possibilities are endless. That wouldn't do me any good. I haven't got a phone. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, takes, uh, it takes the guesswork out of the service side of it, right? Yes. Because you can tell right from the minute what's on the bike for time now. So you, you hook your little computer up to it, or? Okay. Guy says, I broke it. I'm not even riding it. And we can hook it up and say, well, there's another 40 hours on it. You rub it every day, right? Wow. It takes some stress out of the service department. Okay. Pretty neat. You should have said buy it, Dad. <laughs> yeah. If you're happy with what we're talking about, I'll do that. Deal. Cool. Jo you know, Jolene, um, I, I, I would have sold it, but Jolene was saying no. Okay. So she's the boss of the situation, but I had to like fight with her at nighttime, and I don't mind doing that. <laughs> but, okay, cool. I'm going to go back to work. Did you want to, like, did you, when do you want to uh, do the deal? I don't want to, I mean, I don't really need to get it today. I'll yeah. just pick a better day next yeah. week. Yeah, sure. And I'll just message you. And, uh, okay, cool. And it's not, you know, minus 20. And Perfect. Blowing. We'll do it. Awesome. Didn't want to sell it, but you, you, you give me what I wanted, so what, 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 I, I don't think you'll have any issue with it. I think, like, kick her over a few times, and bang, I think you'll be 
Tickety boo. Should be going around in circles later this summer. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, thank you. No worries. Well, is that one you like the best? Cool. Most of the kids did anyway. They liked that one the best with the bubble on the top of it. They liked that one sort of deal thing. All the bikes that I've bought, and like you're, in, you're obviously into bikes. Yeah. I've bought and I thought they're a reasonable priced. Yeah. If it was reasonable price, I went for it. Right. No, absolutely. I went for it. Like, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, like we just we just bought that one there, yeah. and uh, we paid a fair dollar for it. Yeah, I watched the video. Yeah. And I'm hoping that. You know, it's it's a game you're playing, sort of. Like, you know, we're playing stock a little bit, but yep. the stock has a little information to go with it. <laughs> right. but, but someone will see that, and yeah. that had one, yeah. and recognize the value in it. Yeah. Whether you want to keep it or not, or whether you want to turn it over to make some money, someone will see that, right? Yeah. But it's, it's a pretty nice bike. That's the value in yeah. these old bikes, is finding people that had them in their younger days and wrote them. We bought that one when we pulled out of the man's yard. We went to the store to get me some chips and stuff yeah. and Buddy wanted to buy it right then. I said, no man, I just got it. Like, I want to look at it for a little bit. Right. But he wanted that two-stroke bike. Those are rare. Yeah? There aren't very many of those. Anyway. Okay. Okay. Really rare. Might be the rarest one you have here. Awesome. Yeah. And any of these 750s, worth their weight in gold. Cool. That makes me happy. Which, one, which car you like the best? Oh, okay, cool. Huh? I made that for actually kids that were wanting to take a ride in a car, and that's the car I made. And that's the one. Well, that makes me happy that you like it. Makes me happy. Okay, uh, all right, we're going to go back to work. No worries. Yep, yeah, perfect. Um, yeah. I'll shut the lights off. What's your name, young guy? Hunter. What's it? Hunter. Hunter. Do you hunt? When you get older, I'll bet you'll hunt girls. <laughs> See you later. Thank you. How much time is it? 42. So I'm just gonna cut these, try to get these to length, and then we'll go from there. Jolene did not want to sell that bike. I had to talk to her and say, well, that's what we were doing, sort of doing it for, because I really don't know anything about motorcycles. I really don't. Don't ride them, just don't know anything about them. But I do sort of know how to um, investigate. I guess you can investigate online what things are going for, what things are worth. And uh, if you want to, you know, do stuff like that, you can because I'm trying it. And I'm not saying that I'm going to win every time, but it's worth a shot. Worth a shot. I'd rather look at something than uh, look at a few dollar bills. Money doesn't mean anything. I shouldn't say money doesn't mean anything. Um, to me, I'd rather have I'd rather have something and then have money, I guess. When I was younger, you could always, you know, if you had something worth any anything if you had something worth something like a motorbike or an old car or a piece of old furniture or an antique you could always resell it in my in you know in my world and that's the way it still is if you have something that's considered uh i don't know what to say considered something if you have something you can always sell it when it comes to money when you put it in the bank um what do you do with it Look at it, I suppose. Or I'm not sure if you even get to look at it, but you can trade, you can sell it, you can do anything you want with it. 
when it comes to that sort of thing. I'm trying to get this in there so I can get this pipe going straight and talk at the same time. Sometimes it's not the easiest thing to do. I'm going to put a little gap in between that, trying to get it nice and straight and right. Seems like I can do that. Get the welder going. Like we go, we went to the antique store this morning. It's called a little store called Twice as Nice. He's always ha having stuff there full time. People are selling stuff to him. He's buying stuff. He's he's looking for stuff. Uh, you never know what you're going to find when you get there. But it's enjoyable, the thrill of the hunt, and and to find something that you think is worth more than what you paid for it. That's the object of the game, is to find something that is worth more than you paid for. And uh, it can become um, very interesting sometimes. And fun at the same time. I'm going to leave that gap in there because I want that gap for penetration. When I've got a gap like that, then I have a place for the weld to go and uh, make it tight and right. When it's tight together, you never know if you've got penetration. I find the best way to weld pipe is one dot at a time. If you watch me do this, one dot at a time, you'll do a nicer job on your exhaust pipe, on any pipe at all, you'll do a nicer job. Start halfway on the last puddle, and then continue on. Trying to let the red go away because I've got quite a gap going on. I think that bike hit a lot of chords with a lot of people my age because we had another person contact us. Um, was interested in the bike, so I think it hit a lot of, just like it hit me, hit a chord with me when I seen it. It's like, wow, um, that's, that's quite something. Um, let's do the measurement here. You okay, Jolene? Is that all right with you if that happened? Okay, cool. Good. That makes it better when both people are on the same page. And Jolene, and I must say, Jolene called it. And you don't know what I'm talking about, but she called it. <laughs> she called it. I'm going to finish welding that. What the hey? One dot at a time. Got a big gap, so I'll go end to end. Time to get back, the other one will be pulled off. Playing it smart. Hitting right on top of the weld that I put on it before. He's the perfect guy for that bike, actually. He owns a Yamaha store. He's the perfect guy. On this side.
holding it a little longer because the gap on that side wasn't that plentiful. That's why I held it a little bit longer. We'll get another piece. I don't think it quite needs to be this long. Now this side on this side needs to be 15. So we don't need a little piece on this end. So I just wonder if I got a little piece somewhere. Nope, I just cut a little piece off this. 10. Six, give me a little length to cut off. Just using the angle iron to get the, the exhaust going straight, or thinking I'm getting it straight, trying to get it the best I can. Doesn't matter. I just remember that's hot. That's too funny. I don't know how funny it was, but it was funny. Yeah, back here, back here. I do not want that fitting that tight. I need something underneath of that. That cigarette butt's not going to do it. I had a little grinder disc. Did I throw it away? Did I pick it up? Nope, that's not it. That's not it. I got coat hangers everywhere, man. I got coat hangers everywhere. Just wanna. There we go. Look at that fit, would you? Hickory dickory dog. Keep that gap there. Gonna get keep it tight back. Should be good. Awesome. One dot at a time. Do it.
I can see if I can get downwards. I right, start the last one. And I'll split back and forth. That way there. Won't burn out on it. Getting her a bit hot, burning through a little bit. Okay. Let's hit it again. Alrighty. We have got the start of what's going on. Now, we should be... Uh, two inches. Well, that one there is not even close. So what's going to happen is, is I'm going to cut this one from the outside e edge to 18. Cut that off at 18 because we got it marked. I'm going to cut mark this one. We're going to cut this one off at I think it's 15. I'm going to spend my time cutting off the leftover pipe on the chassis where it's at. Um, when you come back, uh, we'll have. When you come back, we'll have. That cut off, that cut off, that cut off, that cut off. Possibly that tacked in place. That's what we're going to do because we're probably at the time, are we not? All right, everybody. Thanks for coming back. We appreciate it. So what I'm doing right at the present moment, I'm making the running board or the exhaust pipe coming out two inches beyond the wheel. And the reason I'm making it come out two inches beyond the wheel because I'm going to apply two inch exhaust pipe and I want it to be on the outside of the wheel. So when the exhaust pipe runs up here, I want the exhaust pipe out here, just, just like so. That's where the exhaust pipe's gonna run because that's where I made it come to. Um, and then we'll go from there. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Like, subscribe, comment, um, share, do all that stuff. We will be at the car shows. Come see us in Australia and in Toronto. And if you have a car show and you want us to be there, there is value in Jolene's photography. All right, everybody, have a great day. And when you come back, we'll continue on.